In this video, we're gonna do something kinda scummy. Back in October of 2018, my father and I were in a pawn shop and I saw a computer that caught my eye. The original asking price of this PC was $2,000. Now that probably doesn't sound too crazy because as some of you might know, there are high-end systems out there that go for $2,000 and sometimes a little bit more. <laughs> However, this wasn't a high-end system. It wasn't even close. I actually took a video of this thing and posted it on Twitter. This was almost a 10 year old system that wouldn't even be able to run Minecraft at the highest settings. Except it wouldn't have been able to do that because this PC didn't even have RAM. The computer wouldn't have even turned on. At best, that system should have sold for $200. Now the reason I think that computer was selling for that much is because it was actually labeled as a supercomputer. While there was nothing super about it, I can see why someone who is uninformed about computer parts and their value would think it was worth that much. First of all, the average person and consumer doesn't actually see a lot of open air PC cases. So if someone comes in one day with this fancy helicopter looking PC case dropping terminology about how the open air design makes it easier to overclock the power supply, well then yeah, I can see how someone would fall for that. You can't overclock power supplies, that's the joke. Furthermore, if you actually Google the Antec skeleton case, you will see that nobody sells it except for one or two people online, and it goes for some absurd price of like four or $500. Don't get confused, that case is not valuable or special in any way, it's just old. As for the rest of the parts in that PC, I can't even come up with an argument to defend the pawn shop employee that paid for it because it's just bad. So I've actually been curious about doing something like this myself. Can I trick a pawn shop into overvaluing a computer and make a profit? Well, I've actually been looking for the opportunity to do this for over a year now, and last week, someone finally posted the Antec Skeleton on Craigslist for $30. Let's do this. Psst, I have a really cool announcement at the end of this video. Make sure you watch till the end. Okay, bye. So a friend of mine used to work at a pawn shop here in Las Vegas and he told me that a good manager will typically offer 20 to 30% of what they believe an item is worth. So if we're gonna pull this off, we need to build this PC for incredibly cheap. I've had this idea in mind for a while now, so I've slowly been collecting these parts locally for really cheap for what I believe will kind of replicate the crop computer I saw back in October. So just so you know how much this all costs, as I explained earlier, this is the Antec Skeleton. It cost us $30 on Craigslist. For the processor that actually came with this motherboard, which I believe is broken, but the processor is supposed to be good, we have an i7-2600, which came at $40. For the actual motherboard we're going to be using, we have what I believe is a second generation Intel board. This is a Gigabyte GA-Z68M. It cost us $30. We have DDR3 RAM, of course. This is eight gigabytes and it only cost us $10. For the graphics card, we are actually using a 560 Ti that still has the plastic peel on it, which only cost us $15. For the power supply, similar to the actual computer in October, this is a Thermaltake brand. It is a smart 650 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply. Now, I'm still scared of this thing. It has quite a bit of dust on it. I bought it from someone who said it was pretty heavily used, but it was only $15. I'm kind of scared it's gonna blow up the computer, but I'm not entirely sure. And then lastly, for our drive, we're actually using a Western Digital Green. It is a two terabyte hard drive and it only cost $5. Now, for the nerds out there that are questioning why I didn't just buy a solid state drive for another five, 10 bucks, I kind of like the idea that this computer is going to be shitty. <laughs> I want to see if we can pass this thing off as a supercomputer. And honestly, if we can make it a little bit crappier and still succeed in that goal, it's gonna make my ego go straight up through the roof. <laughs> so in total, everything here costs us only $145 for what should be a working computer. I know Fortnite got talked about in the news because of the $3 million first place prize in the World Cup. So I'm thinking that I might also install Fortnite on this so I can say that it comes pre-installed. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna build this thing. I actually don't even know if the parts work, so that's step number one. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's built. Um, I haven't built this whole of a system in a while. I hope I didn't miss anything. The one thing for sure is that this little uh, CD optical drive right here is not gonna work. Um, I don't have the cables to make it work. I think I can get a newer one and replace this, but we might just be lazy and leave it be. Uh, electronics and tapes, I can kind of
All right, three, two, one. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh. It has RGB in the top. Yeah, we have a faulty power supply. Ah, God, that kind of sucks. Okay. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Come on, you can't be doing this to me. <sighs> okay, so it's not the power supply. It's something else. Wait, it stays on for longer. Don't worry, I earned this by sewing hmm. with fire. Oh wait, hold on, it hasn't cycled again. It was the RAM? Get a screen, get a screen. Are you kidding? Okay. Okay, so we are back three days later and it works. <laughs> it's not gonna power cycle this time. So I actually had to take a break because I couldn't troubleshoot and figure out what this computer was doing wrong on my own, or at least what I couldn't do correctly with it. I actually took this on stream and tried to figure out if me or my viewers or anyone could try to troubleshoot and figure out what was actually wrong with this system and why it kept power cycling. And as it turns out, it was the RAM. For whatever reason, the HyperX 1600 megahertz speed RAM would not take with this i7-2600 processor. Now, I've never seen RAM cause a power cycle like that before, but it was the issue, and as you can see, we're updating Windows right now, and it works. A huge shout out to Chris with Coalition Gaming. If you guys don't already know, he is the mastermind troubleshooter when it comes to anything computer related. He's the guy I go to when I'm in a lot of shit, which was the case this time. So if you haven't already, make sure to check him out. Anyways. Let's see how well this plays Fortnite. Let's check the FPS. We're gonna go medium settings on everything with epic view distance at 920 1080p. Okay, so we're in, and right now I'm seeing 110 FPS up in the bus. Looking down, we get 60. Looks like we're holding, actually we're holding pretty consistent over 60. I wanna go to what will hopefully be a busy area just so we can really push this. Oh. That's not how you sprint. I've been playing too much Minecraft. Control is not sprint. Oh! What? Oh, there's no gravity, I see. Okay, so I died, whatever. Um, if we take a look at the FPS, we still get a pretty accurate idea of what the performance is gonna be for the system if you were playing. And it holds really solid, like around the 60 FPS mark is like a nice little sweet spot. Okay, so we have the tower, keyboard, monitor, mouse, everything is ready to go. Obviously, they might ask me to test it in front of them, so that's why I have all this stuff. They also might ask me to sell everything to them because they might not just want the tower. I'm not gonna try to sell everything, but in case they do, I did bring some extras. All right, so I think the goal is to go in and just throw a bunch of fancy terminology at whoever I'm dealing with and hope that I sound smart enough to where they'll give me a better price. I think if I go in and you know pretend I don't know what this computer does or what it is, I don't think it'll work well. Um, I have a few selling points in my head already, but uh, I'm not too sure. I, I just, I'm hoping I deal with someone 40 years old or older. Any younger than that, I feel like this trick is not gonna work. All right, we're here. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, let's do this. Hello, do you guys um, accept I'm trying to sell a gaming PC, not pawn it? You want to sell it? Mm -hmm. I have it in the car outside. I was just wondering, do you guys accept that? Yeah, you can go grab it. Okay, I'll get it. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, so they said yes that they would accept a gaming PC. So now we gotta bring it in. Just give me one second, okay? Okay. 100 bucks for sale? Yeah, I don't think I could do that. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay, so. After waiting there for like 30 minutes to get served, a grand total offering of $100. Now what's interesting is the more intelligent employee, I mean, okay, let me rephrase that, sorry. The employee that was more knowledgeable when it came to computers said he would offer me a max of 140. So that's actually surprisingly close to what it costs us to build it. So the one thing for sure is I am on the same level of stinginess when it comes to pricing as a pawn shop. Okay, so it's the next day and I reviewed some of the footage and I think I know why 
I didn't get the offer I wanted and that's because I went in and negotiated like a little bitch. Um, I didn't have a price in mind and honestly, out of all the times I've watched Pawn Stars, I should have known that they would have asked me what I wanted for the computer and the fact that I didn't give them a number is why I believe they lowballed me so incredibly bad. Anyways, so this time around, I'm not gonna be that little bitch. I'm gonna be an alpha male. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna tell them what I want and I am hoping that I will get it. How much are you looking for? Honestly, I was trying to do 300. The largest risk we're probably willing to take on a gaming computer will be a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. if you for that. Yeah, I don't think I could do that just because I spent nine hundred for right, it a couple right. years back. She, yeah, I'm sure you did. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Thank All you guys. Right. Have a good day. All right, so I actually tried to do something kind of cheeky. I came back to the same store that was selling the computer originally that inspired this video, and they told me they actually bought it off that guy for a thousand dollars. And I'm out of here trying to get an offer of over 145. Now, they also told me that computer sat for a year and that when they finally sold it, it was on clearance for a hundred dollars, which makes sense. And they offered me that same amount. So I'm sitting here thinking, maybe I'm a year late on this video. If I did it back then, I could have got some insane offer, but it gives me hope. It shows me that if I find the right place and the right people, I can get the offer I want. So, <sighs> I'm not losing hope yet. There's a place up the street. We're gonna try that now. Yes, um, I have a gaming PC that I'm trying to sell. I was wondering if I could come get it appraised. We no longer take desktops or gaming PCs. Got it, okay. Uh, gaming laptops, we do still take them. Okay, awesome. Thank you, appreciate it. This is proving to be challenging. So if there's anything that I've learned, it's that certain pawn stores won't even take a look at the gaming PC because they just know you're probably trying to scam them. Um, so all I know for now is that I need to go to a more rundown stores because the first two I did were and they at least would take a look at it. So I'm gonna go take a look at some maybe not so safe areas on Google Maps and try this again tomorrow. <laughs> All right, today is the third and final day I have to try and sell this gaming PC. The reason for that is of the 20 pawn shops that exist in Las Vegas, only five of them that I called said that they accept gaming PCs for sale. So we're driving to the last two today and we're really hoping to find that one manager that's just gonna give us the offer we're looking for. Okay, we are here and this is our first and hopefully last stop of the day. I figured it was worth something because I know they don't make these anymore. That's in pretty good condition. No, no, I'm not saying that at all. How, how much did you pay for this? Back in the day, five years ago, I paid a grand. Okay. Just based on that, it's too old. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, I got you. I really don't want to waste your time. I got you. Okay, all so age, age is a huge. Age. Okay, yeah. Got it. Well, appreciate it. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. God, dude, these places say they're gonna buy it and then they don't even give me an offer. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, every store that I go to, I'm getting a better idea of what they're looking for. Essentially, if they're gonna buy your gaming PC, they want something that was made in the last year that looks like it was made in the last year. I, this guy didn't even ask me about the specs of the computer. One place I went to asked about the specs, it's like, Every place I go to seems like they have a different set of questions based on who's working there. And each time I feel like I've dropped the ball on answering the questions correctly. Um, Y'all can call it lying. I can call it negotiating. Um, <laughs> but I, I need, in, if it seems like if I'm going to sell this thing, I need to tell the people what they want to hear. So I have one last store left. We're going to drive there right now and hopefully, hopefully this works out. All right, let's do this. All right, you and I both know how expensive this can be. Yeah. Um, but what our system's appraising it for, because our system doesn't really appraise like built computers accurately. Yeah. Um, and you said you needed 300, right? Mm -hmm. You want to sell it for 300? Yeah. My system is telling me that's about how much we would try to sell it for. So what we can offer you is about 150. 150? Mm -hmm. Is there any better that you can go with that, or? What were you thinking? I mean, I like I said, I, I can't do the 300. I got you. No, but I'm trying, I mean, 
200 would be ideal just because the reason I'm trying to sell this is I'm trying to buy one last part for my next system. Okay. So. Um, let me see if I can do at least 200, okay? Okay. One, 20, 40, 60, 75. $175 for our $145 effort. <laughs> okay, so at the end of the day, we didn't make the hundreds of dollars we were hoping to make from this scam. However, like I said earlier, all I wanted to do was to sell this computer for more than what I built it for. So you know what? I'm calling this a successful scam and nobody can tell me otherwise. Um, if there's anything to learn from this video is that pawn shops have a lot of overhead that they have to pay. These, these aren't just buyers and flippers and that's it. These are people that have to get paid by the company and they have to make a lot more money than what they're losing in order to stay in business. Now, what that means is if you're ever gonna do something like this, you would make a lot more money selling from person to person for private party sales. Go on Craigslist, go on OfferUp, go on something that is not a business and you'll make a lot better money. But I wanted to see if I could make money by selling to a pawn shop and you know what i did don't count the gas fees please don't count okay we did it this is a win and i'm taking this w so you know what i hope you guys found this video informative entertaining in any way shape or form and as always have a great day okay i'm gonna make this quick you can win prizes by playing video games in my Discord server. Well, specifically Minecraft. We made a Minecraft server and it is a competitive server where the top three ranked players at the end of a two month season period, which will be repeating, will win either a gaming PC, a gaming mouse, or a gaming keyboard. Now those prizes may change in future seasons, but for now you can win a gaming PC and peripherals. So if you want to learn about how to do that, look in the link below, Join the Discord server. All of the information on how to join the Minecraft server, how the Minecraft server works, is in the Discord. Check it out, join it, and start earning points. You'll see how it works. It's really fun. I'm going to be playing with you guys too. Okay.